The purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate Excel's normal distribution function. So we have uh, some data, which is number of say, uh, coffees sold on a series of days, so 16 to 17, etc. Now there's a histogram of sales, and this is by no means a perfect normal distribution, but it kind of looks mound-shaped if you were to draw a line through it. So it has some high point. We would think probably uh, the mean would be about 17.3, etc. Now I want to work out some sort of probability distribution so that I could say what is the probability of having any particular range of copies. So first of all, I'm going to calculate the things which I need, the data which I need, is the mean and also the standard deviation. So let's find the mean. The mean is there. Make sure you label them, otherwise it's easy to forget, to skip the point. So it's the average, and it goes between A2, colon, because it's a range, to A11. And so the mean is 17.3, and that's about what you'd expect. Now we need to uh, find out the standard deviation. Equals, and then STDEV. Again, the same range, A2 to A11. Close brackets. And the standard deviation is 1.49. Now that's much too high. We don't need to have uh, so much accuracy. So we can decrease the decimal points just down to 1.49. Now let's say that we wanted to find out the probability of uh, somebody, uh, the sales being between, let's say, um, of being, let's say, 16.5. So our x value is 16.5. So I'll just put down uh, prob 16.5, which makes it, oops, so we can remember what it is. So the formula is equal norm dist, open the brackets. Now the important thing to notice is that I've put a small data set up here, but for these calculations, Excel doesn't need the data set. It just needs the mean, the standard deviation, and also your x value. So we put in an x value first of 16.5, and then comma, and then the mean is 17.3, comma, and then the standard deviation of 1.49. Next, we type in true. This is because there are a number of choices. If we wanted the height of the standard of the distribution, then we would put false. But we want to get some number. So that gives us 0.295, etc. I'll reduce that. Makes it cleaner on the page. So there's a 0.3 probability of sales being between 0 and 16.5, right to the left-hand side. Let's say that we wanted to find out the probability of sales being 18.2, let's say. In other words, what I'm trying to move towards is to be able to find a gap in between them. But let's say we wanted probability of sales being 18.2. We do the same thing again, but now we put 18.2 because that's our new x. The mean hasn't changed, that stays the same. The standard deviation hasn't changed, and still have true in there. And you can see that that probability is also is much higher, of course, because it is accumulative. In other words, it's moving from the left to the right. So the further to the right, the closer we get to 1. So I could find out the probability of sales being between 
by just subtracting these two. So the probability of being between 18.2 and 16.5 is 0.43. That makes logical sense, doesn't it? Because that's where the majority of it's heaped up at that point. Thank you.